really bad anxiety. Guess who I'm with? Hi. Look at those. Yes! Oh the kids, my God. yes! No one else is gonna get you there but you. Third piece, what are you getting first? Me, what is it called? Um, had a bit of a faff getting in here because <laughs> literally run like the, the final floor and Daisy was like every level she was like oh there's a there's spot a, there's a spot there and I was like no <laughs> go round again you'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living that is to go on doing things you don't like doing which is stupid Hello, I am back with another vlog and this week we are going to do something fun. We're going to go to Leeds and go out and explore Leeds. I'm going to meet my sister and then I'm going to meet the rest of my family and we're going to have a little car trip. But I'm starting this vlog um, today. It is Wednesday and we're going to go to Leeds tomorrow. I've just got back from having my hair cut and coloured so I've not got any more greys. <laughs> feel like a new woman yes so it's gonna be an exciting vlog there's a place called Duke's Donuts in Leeds I place an order because they basically um, do delivery now you wait till you see these these are absolutely insane oh my god da, 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 da. look at those that's like a Simpsons one Oreo and Biscoff and let me smell them. They smell amazing. Yum. I'll let you know how they taste. Um, I think I'm gonna give some to my family because they are huge. Look at the inside of that beauty. So me and Liam have decided to share one of the Oreos. But it's like full on, you know when you know when you get a cream filled donut and they put a tiny little bit in? That's like full on. Let's just do a little bit of a taste test just to see how it is. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. Mm. Wow. Nine out of ten. What would you give it? Seven. You're so hard to please. Seven, that's high score. It's definitely room for improvement. What would you improve about it? I made it feeling a bit softer, but it has been in the fridge, so. But it is nice. Running a tiny bit late, but <clears throat> just quickly show you my outfit. I'm wearing this little shirt from Topshop. I got it ages ago. This crop is also from Topshop and then these jeans are from New Look. And I got my freshly cut hair. That's serving me well. Let's go. Hello. I can speak a little bit louder now because I'm out of the house. I was speaking quiet because Liam was asleep. I'm back in the car. We're doing a bit of car vlogging, but instead we're in my car, finally. I feel like I haven't driven in ages. <laughs> um, so wish me luck. I've got, I've put this headband on and I'm really not sure what, what I think of it because I was gonna put these sunglasses on and I feel like it's all just a bit of a, too much, do you know what I mean? But I also kind of need to not get blinded by the sun, so safety first. I like the kids. Mm. Oh, Daisy, no. what's that audio? Daisy's drinking. Hello? We're probably driving. Yeah, I'm driving. What's what what's All up? Right. Um what are you wearing? Twenty one degrees, you're joking. Yeah. Oh my god, I've got jeans on. <laughs> anyway, so what I was saying was, me and Liam were proper going for it the other day um, in the car, dancing, singing. Just turn this music down. Dancing, singing, um, like proper, just having a great time. And then we pulled up at a traffic light. We were still dancing, and this guy started filming us. I was like, oh god, we're gonna end up on one of those TikToks. Have you seen those viral TikToks where people? dancing at traffic lights. <laughs> Can I end up in one of them? But it's just, it's, it's funny because when I see other people dancing and stuff, it just, it gives you like
like an instant buzz, doesn't it? Well, it does me anyway. Some people think, what are you doing, you weirdo? But I definitely get the energy, I get the positive energy from people. Oh, I'm actually in such a good, good mood today. I think it is because I'm seeing my sister, seeing my family. Go shopping, going to go to Leeds, um, get some food, because you know, you know I love my food. Um, got the donuts in the back for everyone, it's a treat. <laughs> that is a good thing really very hydrating we're just not we just, we just don't leisurely drink so I think because we don't leisurely drink the only time we do drink we get drunk um, and so we, we had like a really nice weekend with my best friend and her partner um, and it was the first time I spent a lot of time with a partner as well it was just it was just amazing it was so much fun we played loads of games we got very drunk we did some dancing and it was just like one of those classic nights that was just amazing but then the next day God, that was a right off an hour and a half but let me tell you that honestly it was horrendous Um not in terms of like just feeling like shit but also I get really bad anxiety, anxiety when I'm hungover and I get really depressed. Um, I think it's just how my brain works, it honestly must be because when I speak to other people about it, people are like, oh yeah, I feel low, but I don't feel like, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say because it, it might be quite triggering, but it sounds like I'm being exaggerative. exaggerative. Is that a word? Like it's like the lowest of the low. That's that's literally how I feel, and I feel like I can't escape it. Um, God, this is a real mood killer image, so we must quick, quickly move on from this conversation. Um, yeah, I just it, honestly, it just does not agree with me. Like, and this is when I drink, obviously, quite a lot as well. It's not when I have like three drinks. Like, I don't, I don't get it after that. It's when I drink, you know, like. When that's when I get, I get like that, and it just it just ruins the whole drinking for me. Like I was in the car with Liam, and I was like, I was saying to him, it's like I can't escape the thoughts, the real bad, the word thoughts. Um, I actually think I'll get demonetized for even saying the word, uh, and I don't really want to say it anyway because it is quite triggering. Like for people who have. You know, suffered with you know family members or that kind of thing, um, and it's I know 
know that I'm, I would never do anything. So it's not actually like, God, this is a real deep chat. It's a real deep chat for Thursday morning, Imogen. Like, it's not even Thursday morning, it's a Wednesday morning. No, it's not, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. I'm completely lying. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really not, basically, in a, in a roundabout way, that was a very long-winded way of saying that it's not worth it and when I get to a point where I am I'm starting to put plans in like going out that involves drinking like weekly that's when my life just I feel like I'm on a fucking hamster wheel just trying to keep up oh bloody hell can you drive Imogen I feel like I'm on a hamster wheel trying to keep up with my mental health and I just can't I can't quite or maybe that's maybe that's not a great analogy like sand is slipping away from you and you're just trying to catch as much as possible and it's just basically just you know you're just losing it losing it that's what I feel like um, so me and Liam have agreed to and by the way Liam I'm, I am not the driving force in this Liam is very much on, also equally driving force with this because he also feels like it really impacts his motivation with work and obviously with being self-employed you do have to be very on the ball all the time because no one else is going to fulfill your role you don't have anyone any other team members to rely on it's you and you only so um when me and liam kind of take to take a pedal off you you notice it your business your business takes a hit it's not it's not just oh you've got a hangover it's your business that is affected and obviously that is not good so we are taking three months off i think we're gonna do so it's like the beginning of august till october um i've worked out exactly three months um and some people say don't put a date on it but i've done this quite a few times with, with doing like six months off or three months off of drinking and for me it actually makes it better by setting myself a goal um, and sometimes I just go I just go over the goal I just end up not drinking for longer than I've specified for me it's just it's just easier to have a goal in mind and Liam's actually found this non-alcoholic spirit which I'm so intrigued about I actually want us to take it this weekend but I've got a really oh I forgot to say about this so we're going to vegan camp out is anyone else going to vegan camp out so we're going um me Liam my mum and my brother my brother's tagging along too um even though he's not vegan <laughs> but we'll let him off so I can't wait for that so I might we might bring that there anyway like just because apparently he's got like he's got that lion's mane and stuff you know like a uh, new tropic type plants that's supposed to give you a little bit of a buzz so we'll see we'll see if that um if that gives us a little bit of a buzz and i'll let you know how we get on with that but that's i'm gonna vlog that as well so that's gonna be another exciting vlog coming up i feel like we're getting we're getting on a roll with these vlogs and we're gonna i'm gonna keep it up and at the end of august fitting 60 and the 60 day challenge is coming back um towards the end of august slash beginning of september because i've actually got quite a lot of going on uh this august so it might be beginning of september i feel like that's quite a good starting point anyway <clears throat> so yeah so can't wait for that it's gonna be exciting um yeah keep driving I'm Jen because no one else is gonna get you there but you that's a life motto I don't even know if you can see the background or if you can see anything but this countryside is beautiful okie dokie so we are now I've just dropped the donuts at my brother's shaky isn't it this one just have to try to change the car mount because i've got two one of them is shitter than the other um, so we're just going to pick the daisy up now i'll drop the donuts off i'm sorry this is really shaky it's not very good i'm gonna 
have to sort this out. Sorry, guys. You're going to get car sick, aren't you? Right. Where am I going? Concentrate. Guess who I'm with? Hi. I've picked up Daisy, and now we're going to go to Leeds um, to go shopping. Woohoo! Let's go shopping. <laughs> 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 gonna put some tunes on. Yeah. Oh, and also I'm really hungry. Are you yeah, eating anything? Good. Yeah, I've had I had some porridge this morning. Oh, did what you? Did you have? I didn't have anything. Oh, really? I'm yeah. Well, I bet you got up early though, didn't you? Yeah. Well, early for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, were we gonna go to like a Japanese place? Because um, yeah, we could do. What um, what places were you thinking? Well. I haven't been to many uh, Japanese places in, in Leeds. So do you, do I googled we... some vegan places and yeah. there's, like Little Tokyo. Um, Is that like sushi kind of thing? Yeah, like sushi, um, yeah. noodles, rice dishes. Mm. Or oh, we could just go to like Wagamama's because they're like 50% vegan now. I know, have yeah. you, oh, the, some of the things on their menu is amazing. What I did I, I what, have you had the duck thing yet? No, Stu had that. I, 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 I was looking at it and I was like, I really want that. But then I also wanted the katsu curry. Yeah, um, I always get the katsu curry. So, it's so like, good, isn't it? But I feel like the katsu curry is a really good hangover dish. Yes, yeah. The only thing about the duck one is that it's a little bit sweet. Oh really? Yeah, like you know the hoisin sauce is like pretty sweet. Yeah. But it was good. It was like shredded fake duck. Yummy. <laughs> okay, it's very dark on Daisy's face. Basically the memory, cut, memory card cut out because there wasn't enough memory. So I had to delete loads of footage. And I think it cut off when we were talking about the crispy squid from Wagamama's. Yeah. Um, we were just saying how nice that was. And then basically we finished off the rest of the journey. And now we are in the car park. We're in um, a multi-story car park. Had a bit of a faff getting in here because... <laughs> <laughs> Literally run like the, the final floor and Daisy was like every level she was like oh there's a spot there's a, there's a spot there and I was like no <laughs> go round again <laughs> round again but it's difficult isn't it because it's, uh, some smaller cars it looks like it there's look, a spot yeah. as well but and then um, you get there and it's, and it's a one way not. system as well yeah. so I didn't want to go there and then realise there's no spaces and then we'd have to go down I know and then people are like looking at you in the cars and stuff yeah like, and then awkward. I had to do really bad hill star it was all just a bit to get a bit too yeah. much um so now we're gonna go and get some food i think we're gonna go to what is it called zap, zap thai zap thai yeah and what, go, what kind of food do they do it. it's thai um so they do like a plant-based section on the menu mm. but they've they've teamed up with this chicken if anybody knows that um, so yeah so i didn't realize they, they had they, like meat replacements yeah That's good. and then they do Yum. vegan prawns as well <gasps> Oh my god, I'm definitely Which, getting Which, like, there. you don't get in a lot of places, do you? No. Um, so... And did you say we really can sit good. outside or not? Yeah, we can sit outside, yeah. It's kind of like on a... Like on a, a street. Oh, room. is it? It's like, yeah. It's oh, maybe we'll sit inside then. Do you... Well, yeah, we, I mean, we can go see, see yeah, what we'll it's like. Yeah, we we'll just go it might, might be less busy now. This yeah. Time. Okay, let's go eat. Let's go I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. I'd like a bottle vodka. Oh, this is the vegan section. Oh, yeah. This is a bit weird. Oh, see. Yes, it's double sided. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, what, the, what was that? The, pa the Panang curry? Mm. I don't think I'm saying it. those prawns I don't know how they make them or what they make them of do you reckon it's tofu um I don't know oh. I, I, I forgot to ask them it could be a um, like soy protein or yeah I don't know. they must put they them in some kind of like them. um template not a template yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, making like art <laughs> no it was really good though um I, I don't know where we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna, gonna go to that uh, charity shop. Charity shop. Yeah, we're gonna go to a charity shop and then 
Uh, you need it's to get mid something. Oh no, we need, we're gonna go to the piercing shop. Aren't we? Yeah, we get a piercing. Um, I think I'm just gonna get my third, third pierce. What are you getting pierced? The what is it called? Um, you getting your con? Yeah. Yes. But is that gonna is that gonna hurt? Uh, like, I mean, it's more painful than these because it's cartilage, uh, but it's not that bad. It's yeah. over with pretty, pretty quickly. Um, uh, this one, you know, the top one. Yeah. I've literally had it for years, and it still still hurts. Up. Yeah. Really? Um, Maybe it's the jewelry. Maybe pick a nicer jewelry to go in it. Yeah. I'm well, mine healed fine. Did it? Yeah, it was I fine. Think I I can't wait to get a hoot. I was going to say about your conch piercing. Because last time I got my conch, I got it done with silver. And I've just realised, you know, look, have you seen that? Yeah. I should have gone for gold. Yeah, I was thinking Wow, that. you should have said. But I, I, I don't know if you really wanted it. Oh, you're just saying that, you know, because she was quite like, oh. Well, the know, thing is, if, if that was gold, if it was gold, that would have been so pretty, wouldn't it? Yeah. And the thing I is, I do really like it because you've got. I mean, it looks in. nice. Got yeah, but that's just because that's what I was pierced with as well. Uh, I always, I never, I always forget to ask for gold. Yeah, but it does look cute. Because a lot of the time they just show silver jewelry as well. Did you? Do you think it hurt? Yeah, like for about five seconds, but she did it so quickly. Yeah, it just it's but just it's over like, really yeah. fast. It's kind of like you know if you got waxed. Yeah. That's when they pull the strip off. Yeah. I am sweating. Okay, we are back in the car. Um, we went for a... What did we do since I last... No, we've already forgot. Yeah, we went into, was it Blue Rinse? Yeah, we went to Blue Rinse, we went to um, British Heart Foundation. Yeah, and we got our piercings. Oh yeah, we got our piercings. Daisies look so cute. Yeah, I can't, I don't know if you can see it on here. I can't really see it. Um, what is got it got gold, didn't you? Yeah. So that looks so cute. I know, I can't wait to put a ring in it. Yeah. And you didn't didn't think it hurt, did you? No, like it, it it's kind of like just like a a short sharp pain, and then it was over. Yeah. But she did that thing where like you know she distract distracting you. Yeah, where um, they talk. Yeah. Where they like ask you random questions. Which, yeah, which I like rather than just you know. I know, me too. And and I like it when they say deep breath, like yes. right at the right she time. She said that. Yeah, she said that as well. Because that. Because when you don't get that, you forget when is the best time to do a deep breath. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah. do you find when you get a piercing near your period, it's more, it hurts more? What? No, I've never. I mean, I'm not. Well, apparently, your pain tolerance near your period no. is is um, lower because your body's preparing for your yeah. period. Yeah, and then we went to this little cafe in Leeds. Called Mrs. Arthur. Oh, Mrs. Yeah. Arthur? Is that what it's called? So cute, yeah. Um, it's really cute in there. And um, the guy forgot to do Daisy's latte, so he brought us out a free cake. Yeah, so which cute. I thought was really and good. And then he was like surprised that we tipped him. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. really nice. He was really nice. He was. He had good, good customer service, didn't Cause, he? Because it came out straight away after we asked as well. Yeah, literally. You know I, mean? I think like, they must wasn't... have just forgot. Yeah. Um, and they have some really cute cakes in there and stuff. So yeah, I should definitely nice. go go there again. Tonight we're going to this place. What can you do? You know what it's, it's called? called? How you say it? It's Car called Kare Kare Karisima or Karima Karima something like that in Wakefield. Karima. And it's like what is it like West African? The Lebanese. Yeah. yeah. Um, and is it all vegan? Or is it yeah, vegetarian? all vegan. Um, it looks amazing. You've been before, haven't you? Yeah, it's so nice. It's like um, it's like a curry platter, essentially. 
um, but it comes with sort of wraps and things so you like dip you just use your hands and you just like dip uh, the wraps into the curry and stuff. yeah and it's like bring your own beer as well which is cool oh cool i bring my own coat <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure they'll have like soft drinks. Yeah, oh yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, that is. Yeah, but don't you think that's so such like a different concept? There's not a lot of places. Not bring your own beer, but oh, I'm not gonna be too close. Oh no. Like, it's so good. <laughs> Fab. So I definitely thought I was not close enough, <laughs> and I was gonna get after to open my car door. <laughs> So embarrassing get trying out. to get out. I know. Oh, that's just stupid. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that's quite a cool shot. <laughs> just a view. I think it. It's <laughs> I'm the star of the show. <laughs> Look at me. No. I'm not no light. No. I'm no. a light. No, no. <laughs> Then we do this baby voice, and I think now, like, no, I, James does it as well. Oh, James does it, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when we just like we just when we've done, done something, made, yeah, when we've done a, made a mistake or something, yeah. Show me, show me, show me. So we'll do that, but like, honestly, it probably sounds so friendly. fucking annoying. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's why, like, Stu's a laugh. Do you know what we sound like? Wait one sec. Do you know who we sound like when we do that? Do you know Ralph of the Simpsons? <laughs> really? No, 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 no. Ralph. Oh, I'll have to show you later. Of oh, the Simpsons. Yes! Oh the kid, my God. yes! Because I was thinking of. What's that? Not the Simpsons. What that? What's that BBC? That CBBC? With the. He was a bear. He was like a bear. Smile. No. Smile TV, the bear. Oh no, what's no, the oh thing? no, no, but I used to love that bar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just talking about kids TV. Yeah. What? Is that cartoon, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I thought you meant that. I don't know. Walking down the street. Oh my gosh! Yeah. When the people go. <laughs> That's not the word. <laughs> It reminds me of Matilda all the time. Hello, I am now back at home. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you was in the car with Daisy and um, we'd just been to Leeds. I didn't manage to get any footage of the restaurant that I spoke to you about um, that we went to in the evening with my family. Um, but honestly, it was so good. I'll try and find some pictures of like the kind of food they do because it's like a West African restaurant. Um, all vegan, all gluten free. And honestly, the service in there was immaculate. Honestly, like one of the best restaurants that I've been to. It was that that kind of vibe where you feel like you're being invited in someone's home and they literally care about their business wholeheartedly and put all of the love and effort into it. That is the kind of vibe that I got from it. Um, the man who owned it, he owns it with his family and he was delightful. He literally spent so much time going through all the foods that we'd ordered um, talking about the ingredients, talking about the benefits of each um, food that it was going to have on our gut and digestion and etc etc. It was just amazing. Um, really, really recommend that. Um, and I'll put the title of the restaurant here. And it just really gave me like a bit of inspiration to get uh, get motivated with cooking and things like that. And I really want to start making my own kombucha. They didn't, I don't think they actually sold kombucha there, but they did like very, um, 
all like homemade herbal teas. I had like a lemon and ginger tea and honestly it felt like I'd been punched in the face. Like it was that pungent <laughs> and I could just tell it was going to do some good to my body. You know, that kind of thing. My sister had like um, a cinnamon a cinnamon herbal tea and that had different spices in and that kind of thing and then he brought over some like coffee um and went into detail about where coffee came from like that that was the kind of level of service we got and the food was um all like homemade curries um one of them was like a red split um lentil curry um another one was like a mixed vegetable curry um and then he'd put it on like a bed of, it was almost like a pancake, but I think it was made of a, a specific seed that comes from a part of West Africa. Um, yeah, so it's all like kind on your tummy because of the fact that it's gluten free. And that is the kind of food that my body loves because of endometriosis. Like anything that makes me inflamed just makes my endometriosis worse. I highly recommend that. If you're ever in like Leeds or Wakefield, then definitely recommend to go into that restaurant. Um, I've just woke up by the way, that's why I keep touching my eyes. I shouldn't be touching my face, but plan of action is next week we are doing loads of stuff for um next few weeks that's just I don't I don't know how to explain it to you, but the next few weeks are just gonna be chaotic. But expect the vlogs to document the process. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it now because I want to sit down with Liam and actually go through everything. Um in a video i hate to be one of those youtubers that's like making you cling on and like making you wait but it's gonna be good it's really gonna be good it's there's so many exciting things that are coming and also next weekend we are going to the vegan camp out as well so i'm gonna vlog that as well so there's loads of exciting vlogs coming up i hope you enjoyed spending some time with my sister i honestly love it when me and my sister get together and we just spend time just us two um because she's like my soul sister so i hope you enjoyed this vlog i will see you in my next one which will be next week and it actually might be no it will be next week yeah it'll be next week um i'm trying to do one at one a week but it might actually come to two a week at some point because there's going to be a lot more footage as the days come on and thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye have to be your biggest fan and when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working